Well, my $1 Toro is hanging on the wall, but that's because I bought something else, something even better. It's a 1973 Aryan Snow Throw. I picked this thing up on Craigslist for 150 bucks. It's in great condition. There is not a speck of rust anywhere. I've got some nice Aryan's spray paint to clean up where the uh, metal is sort of, you know, rubbed off there. I'll just sand that up with the wire wheel, same with right here, and just paint it. But there's no rust, just a little bit of flaking paint. Um, it's got a 5 horsepower Tecumseh Snow King engine on it. I don't even know if it is a Snow King. It's before I think they became Snow King. But uh starts right up. Only thing I had to do with it is I had to put a new shear pin in the auger. And I had to put a little hand grip, which is an old uh, Briggs & Stratton pull start, on the uh, little speed selector here. But it works fine otherwise. So uh, I've got about three inches of fresh snow out there. So I'll... Without further ado, uh, turn the camera on and start it up. Now the previous owner put two-stroke fuel in it, so I'm still working a full tank of two-stroke fuel out of the system. So it's probably going to smoke a bit when I start it up. But I'm just going to use the electric starter for time savings. So we'll just connect the plug here. Turn the key on. Set the throttle to full. Pull the choke out and see how long it takes to start. This thing's dead cold and that's about... 20 degrees out, so it's pretty cold. So here we go. Oh, I should probably turn the electricity off. Electricity is on.
done. Well, I don't know about you, but I sure think this thing works pretty well, especially for 150 bucks. You can't beat that. A lot of snow drifted into my shop, though. I've been using this thing, which actually works really well. It's like a squidge, a squeegee. And you just take it and... It's hard to do with one hand, but that gets all the snow out, so I gotta do that. But, one interesting thing about this snow blower, and it actually can have attachments, as you can see here. Depress attachment drive, not just for the blower. And it's a different sort of style. You just remove this bolt here, and uh, this whole front snow thrower assembly just pops right off. Um, I believe this could have a lawnmower attachment, a leaf vacuum attachment, and a couple of different size snow throwers. So if I ever want something a little bit larger, I could just get another front here for one of these attachment snow blowers and just put it on. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to do an oil change because the oil is a little bit low and it's not that clean, but it's fine for now. The person put a brand new spark plug on it. I don't know if you can see that. One interesting thing, I'm not sure if this is by design or not, but the uh, air blowing out of the engine, the hot air blowing out of these fins here, actually blasts against the chute, which is a little bit loose, I need to tighten that, um, and warms it so the snow doesn't stick to the inside, which in my opinion is brilliant. So until next time everyone, thanks for watching.